Today we'll go through the steps for setting up your Monport rotary roller. Now this is the Type B rotary. Inside the box, when you first unpack it, you'll find the owner's manual. And you'll also find a bag with some included parts, as well as a cable to connect it to your Monport laser. There's an additional cable inside the bag should you be hooking it up to a different laser where you would simply unplug your y-axis and, and plug this one in and then this plug goes to the Monport roller. Inside you'll find these parts. There are two standoffs and two bolts. To install these, simply slide the standoff over the bolt. Take the bolt and screw it into the top hole. This is the locking mechanism. You have one locking mechanism for the up and down and one locking mechanism for the side to side. Now we'll take the second spacer, slide it onto the bolt, put it into the bottom, screw that one into place. That's all there is to the assembly of the roller accessory. At this point, on the top, you have a vertical knob. This will raise or lower the side. Should you have an object that is higher on one side than the other, you would raise or lower this appropriately. When you've got it in the right spot, you'll tighten the bottom and this does take a little strength to tighten so that it doesn't move. And then you'll tighten the top so that it doesn't move up or down. The next thing that we'll do is we will connect the cable that goes from the roller accessory to the laser engraving machine. Taking the plug end and simply inserting it into the machine. Note the two tabs on this side. These two tabs fit into these two slots. So we'll just carefully align the plug and press down. Now your roller is ready to plug in to your laser. One note is that this comes with an additional piece. So if we unscrew this collar, we can then pull this piece out, like so. This is the piece that will plug into your Monport laser port for the roller accessory, replacing the Y-axis. This extra piece that you get is in case your laser, if you're not using a Monport laser, in case your laser does not have a port, you can install this through a wall on your laser simply by taking this nut and washer off, drilling a hole, putting it through the hole, putting on the washer, putting on the nut, and connecting the wires. The wire accessory is included with the machine. You can cut this plug off and solder the wires to this side. Next, we'll be plugging in the Y-axis roller accessory. It's important to note that you should position your Y-axis in a place on the machine where you're going to be positioning the rotary. The machine should be turned off and positioned. At this point, we'll go to the inside of the machine. In the back, you can see that's where the Y-axis plugs in. 
Now we're going to access this area through the side of the machine rather than through the front. If we come around to the side, you can see there is the plug right there. This is the Montport 80 watt and you'll see that the side door is open. So next we're going to unplug the Y cable. So now that we've finished using our roller accessory, the next step is to unplug the roller, plug the Y-axis back in and screw down the collar. At this point, come over to your control panel and on the control panel, press the reset button. This will reset the Y-axis and you'll be ready to use your laser as an engraver again. It's important that you unplug the rotary accessory while the machine is on. Do not do this while the machine is off because we have to reset the Y axis. 